Okay, let's get started on the next mission, Fixer Up, given to you by Zed here. I keep the medical equipment working. So now we're going to head out and... Oh, that's a poster. I thought that was a bad guy ahead of us. Uh, yeah. Just follow the diamond here. Now we have to find a power coupling and... Oh, yeah. If you hit back, you get your main menu. There's pause. And then if you hit back, you get your status menu, which is essentially pause. And you get all these screens, which I'll explain later when the need arises. The main one right now is this map. Uh, if, as you can see, the uh, yellow arrows, which way we're facing right now in our location, and the gold diamond is, the green diamond, sorry, is where we're supposed to go. That's basic just of it right now, and I'll explain more as things come up. So, just head back here. Uh, be careful, though, because to our left here is ska some skags. I would recommend taking them all out before... Oh, I, you don't have to, but it's good experience to take them all out. Uh, some more come from behind the place, apparently. Yeah, some good easy experience right now, and that's basically what you want. You want to try to get to level 5 pretty quickly. Anyways, right here, grab that power coupling, and then head on back to the same building as Zed, but we're not going to talk to him yet. Yes. Woo! Yep, just run on back. And he was dancing. He dances a lot. He likes to dance. Dance, dance, dance. Anyways, you, you'll see a similar thing with the glowing green spot. Yeah. There you go. And once you... And now you're able to shop. And all you have to do is buy a standard shield. It'll equip. Thanks for the help. It'll uh, initialize. And as you can see in the bottom left corner... I guess you can explain a little bit about the, uh, the thing. Yeah, shield. No, it's the same as any other game with a shield. It regenerates after a while. First aid kits to use on the yep. As you can see, it automatically regenerates over time. Yeah, Give above our health. If I can help you. Okay, and we'll talk to Zed and turn in the thing. And we get our first achievement for completing five missions in Firestone. Yay. Awesome. Okay, so now we have to do this next mission which is blinding nine toes. Kill the eight bandits in nine toes lair. Sounds easy enough. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Dr. Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move. Yes, killing bandits is always a good move in this game. Um, this is a vehicle station. Later on, you'll be able to drive cars. I'll explain that when we get to that. Um, up ahead here is a couple more, uh, skag spawning points. Yeah. Just take them out. Quick, simple. Money! An SMG ammo! Oh yeah, uh, with Lilith you start with a submachine gun and uh, you always pick up a pistol as your second weapon. Uh, ah! Oh yeah, as you approach this area here, yeah, two guys jump over the walls. You want to take them out. Uh, I recommend right here after you shoot. Oh, they ran away. Uh, I'll do it when you get it. Uh, basically. You can just hide back here. You can use your pistol or whatever weapon you want. Actually, a pistol wouldn't be a bad idea here. Oh, they're coming over here. Oh, and I shot the barrel. There was a barrel right there, which exploded. And right, I'm out of ammo with the ammo. SMG. That'll happen a lot. Especially with the machine guns and such. That's what. That's where the hunter and these pistols have an advantage. Because the with the hunter, you got your sniper rifle, and it's just headshots all the time. And you barely use up any ammo. Where with the SMG, you have to take multiple shots to kill things, and... Yeah. And I suck at aiming. I suck out loud, apparently. Cool. Okay. I am really off tonight. Okay. Hey, stop moving. Boom. You can get critical melee shots. 
It's a little harder. You have to melee them in the head. I think it's just aim the reticle at their head and fire, though. I'll try it on this last guy here. If I get a chance to. I um, want to take out the... There we go. Oh, is there another guy with a... Oh, I didn't pick up any ammo. Uh oh my shields are down. But whenever you hear that beeping, that means your shields are down. Anyways, you can just run away now if you want to, but... I want to get the ammo. And I'm... Dying here because I'm trying to describe what I'm doing here and about this game at the same time. Okay. Yeah, right now experience is all you care about. Apparently aiming at the head and meleeing isn't the only thing you have to do. Although I may he may have been out of the cursor there. You can do it though. Um you, there's sometimes a skag comes in here from back there with the enemies. Uh, the skags and the bandits will attack each other. Maybe you can use that to your advantage, however you like. Uh, before you head back, though, you want to head over here. There's a chest here, and this will have a couple weapons in here. The uh, repeater. That's basically a automatic pistol, I think. Ooh, and a better SMG. Cool. That was a good find. Okay, I'm going to explain the equipment menu now. So if you enter here and you push LR, LB and RB, you're able to cycle through these. And you'll find this screen, the backpack. You have a maximum amount of items you can hold in here. Uh, as you can see, I'm at 3 out of 12. Uh, you That size will increase as the game progresses, and you save clap traps, and you get you know, size increases. Um, if you go and hit X, you can set your one weapon to and you can compare the weapons. Uh, it I find if you, you select your, the weapon you want to replace, it makes it a little easier because you can look at all these. Um, yeah, a little less accuracy, but it's got three extra damage. Um, I'm going to switch to it. So I'm going to go to the Violet SMG, and I'm going to equip it. There. And... This repeater is actually a little... I don't know. I like this one because it has a zoom on it. So I'm going to keep it. I like weapons with zooms. Especially when there's one-shots. Okay, uh, here. Here's a health pack. They're instant files if you find them on the map. They don't show up unless you're low, uh, unless you're at least one point on down on health, which I was there. <laughs> Exactly, one point down. Uh, pick up some SMG ammo on the way out, and we'll go and cash this mission in. Woo! Mission! Running! I'm running! Running! Jump! Yes, um, you don't have to hold down the left stick to run, which is kind of handy. And we'll head over here. What can I do for you? And talk to his head. And again, you have 480 experience and 313 cash. And creak goes my chair. Okay, and now we go Nine Toes. Uh, part of the Nine Toes era saga. We go and meet TK Baja. And he'll give us some more missions to do. So, so just take uh, your mission. We're going to go meet TK Baja. This is a quick one. A pretty quick one, actually. And you'll meet another cool, epic character. Um, some eventually guys will start showing up here and they'll shoot you. Just beware of them. Be wary. Uh, no skags today. Anyways, just head up here, follow the diamond. Head over here, and you'll get a little quick intro cutscene. You! One more step and it'll be your last! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Can you see anything in those goggles? Hey, newcomer. I've been looking for you. Every time you come here, open up this. Just take the money. <laughs> right in front of him. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. And turn in your mission. Right. Woo! 